Hitman, about to go in this booth for G4. Freestyle 101, do my thing for y'all. Y'all tell me if you like it. One. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Hitman's the artist, the channel is G4. Big Hit Rising EP is C4. Explosive, you heard him before. Been gaming since Atari 2600 on the Commodore 64. It's like that, Freestyle 101. My favorite game was EA Sports 101. Put together by Electronic Arts. What you think the EA stand for? Youngest get smart. You thought it started with Sega Genesis, huh? I can't front, I played my part, I was into this. Ditch in school to see the first John Madden on a rampage, knocking buildings down years before Osama bin Laden okay I found a glitch in Coach K them 6'9 players shoot unstoppable J's my favorite pastime cop some new J's then go to Toys R Us and get the NBA live then 2K Sports came and made them look like Job like Timberlake's label that kept the clips to pry man I ain't played Madden since 2K5 got wise and linked up with ESPN then Madden bought the rights so 2K couldn't win that's how these labels do artists that don't want to depend yeah they playing with your life man but this ain't the Sims Huh. I bomb back, blood money in my contract That's hit man, do you want that? Yes, hit means war Bringing it to y'all live on G4 Yes, that means war Bringing it to you live on G4 That's the hook on the freestyle look Got a book, get shook like that earthquake a month ago huh. You talking mess, I might confront you, yo huh. Snatch you out the van like Grand Theft Auto huh. Man, light skin, tan, brand like Elton, huh? That's what I tell him, huh? Play for the Tar Heels like Felton, huh? Belt him right under the belt when, huh? H man like to spit, talking that, walking that, talking that. Shh, shh, yeah, 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 come on, yeah, 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 come on, come on, come on. Hit man, G4, you're tuned in, it's like that. I'm done. Damn headphones down, you know what I'm saying? My origins is from the Boogie Down Bronx where hip hop was created, you know what I'm saying? Came to the West Coast around five. I used to be bi coastal, I would go back and forth and hear cats out there rhyme, then come back to LA and see the breakdancing scene starting to take off and go in the world on wheels and K Day. And around that time, I would hear like different people freestyling and that's when I got into it. K-Day was, it's the foundation basically. I started listening to it like around 85. Greg, the Greg Mac attack would play everything from the show to Mixmaster Spade to Toddy T to Rappin' Duke. Anything that was hot, K-Day had it, you know what I'm saying? And they would have their little spots and pop up with their street teams, give out records and I'd take the records home, analyze them and <laughs> the MC became, you know what I'm saying? Right on wheels was a roller rink. It was a double layered spot on like San, San Vicente and Venice. Downstairs was a bowling alley and upstairs was the roller rink. And all the young people used to end up there, you know what I'm saying? And K-Day would have shows like on Friday and it would just be on. Run DMC, everybody. Cool J got his chain snatched there, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> well, he would get confused. Like he'd go to the jungle area and wear blue. He'd come to the World on Wheels or where the Crips area was and be in all red troop outfits. So he couldn't win. <laughs> when we would go to World on Wheels in the clubs, it was basically the club and do whatever. Then outside in the parking lot, if it wasn't no gang violence, you would see a little cypher spark up, you know what I'm saying? We would go see them battles and I'd just be an onlooker at the time. So I was too young to go do my thing. So I'd hooked up with these guys, Ali and Taz from this group called Sara. Ali was trying to get a job at Aftermath as an A&R, but they was like, we didn't have any jobs. So if you bring us this short stocky guy with a lot of attitude, we'll give you a finder's fee. So Ali got on the phone, called Taz. Taz called one of my boys, got me and Taz on the phone. He's like, you want to audition for Dre? And I'm just, I didn't think my style would match what they were doing. So I was like, whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I go up there, Ryan for Mailman and Big Chuck, who were A&Rs and producers at the time. They heard me and got, got Dre on the phone. I, I went into Eve session the next day and rhyme, and he stopped me mid-sentence. Like, that's all I got to hear. It's a rap, right? <laughs> we about to get this ball rolling. I got this album I got to do, and you'll be perfect, you know? The, they wanted a character called Little Homie. I'm like, I'm not little, nobody's little homie, you know? I think they were trying to bring another easy e type attitude. You know how he was just wild and a little dude and high-pitched voice and like a, what they call in the hood, the baby G's. He had that, that type of attitude. At the time, I was like 26, so I wasn't listening to that, so. And the rest was history. <laughs>